Hi everybody. So um, this was my one string folding diddly bow. Right, I've already started to disassemble it. Um, I've taken the string off. The string was just the fishing line that was screwed onto both ends and I'm taking the resonator off. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tin of uh, mints for new resonator. So I need to enlarge my slot here. And then I'm also going to add a um, tuning machine on one end. So this is going to be a two string uh, guitar and I'll just have one string be fixed tension and then I'll have one tuning machine so the other string can be tuned uh, however, however um, you want to harmonize with the second string. So um, it's going to fold and be a travel guitar. Uh, it, so you can't fully tune the thing since one of the strings is fixed, but this is not really meant to accompany anybody else. So uh, that should be fine. I want to show you the uh, hinge here. So this is just like a, I forget now, I think it's like a one inch hinge that I got at the hardware store. Um, there's really not much to it. So I've marked the amount of material I need to remove um, from the uh, top of the stick and I'm going to get to work. So I'm going to make a bunch of cuts and I should only make a couple cuts and then just pry out the uh, the rest of the wood there and I should be good to go. So I've marked where I'm going to drill the hole for the tuning machine. All right. Also, I need to um, remove some material from the back here uh, because the thickness of the wood is too too much for the uh, tuning machine and the little nut that goes with it. Okay. So I need to thin the stock down. Um, this is what I did on my three-string guitar. I actually thinned down the back so that um, these tuning machines sit higher up and but the strings have to go down through this tensioner here that I made out of a coat hanger and that in turn you know pushes down on the nut so I'm gonna do the same thing for um, this project so I got the tuning machine in and um, uh, I the first time I was drilling the hole I actually split the wood so I had to chop um, about an inch off so now it looks like this uh, which is fine uh, these things always you know I guess if you don't have a lot of, of experience these things happen so it's okay you just keep going so it's time to uh, punch holes in the tin I'm gonna make some sound holes on the top side and then on the bottom, I'm going to punch a couple holes so that we can screw into the, uh, into the base here. And um, I'm using a uh, sort of a, a backing piece, okay, so that when I hammer, I'm not really like um, uh, making a big dent into the can there. And I'm just using a big nail. So I had to start over with a new tin because um, I really messed up the holes on the first one. So I've got, um, I've got my sound holes here and then the big hole and the two little holes are so I can uh, put the nut on and then use wire uh, going through the two little holes to hold it down. And then I have my two holes on the bottom for mounting to the neck. Let's see, I've got it screwed to my neck here, all right? And then I've got also the wire holding the nut down. All right, so we're getting somewhere. Um, now just gonna have to make the string tensioners and we're almost done. Um, so this piece is made out of a, a piece of wire coat hanger like this, all right? And you will need two tools. You'll need a large cutter 
to cut it. Um, if you don't have one, you could use a hacksaw to just cut through this metal. And then the rest of the shaping is done with um, needle nose pliers. Okay, so these curves are just shaped with these pliers. You just grab it and bend. Um, and it takes a little bit of practice. All right, so here's the finished guitar. I strung it up with um, fishing line, uh, which is, makes it easier to fold. And the high note is 30 pound test and the low note is um, 70 pound test. Okay, so um, I just tied two bowline knots and hooked them into screws at the bottom. All right, and then up here I have my nut, which is just a screw. I filed a shallow groove so that it stays in place. And then you can see I have my tensioner installed now. And then one string is fixed and the other will tune to the fixed string. So the fixed string is the high note. All right. So these are tuned um, like the first two notes of an open D tuning or sorry, any open chord. All right. So this is... Um, okay. So there's... Um, so like if you were doing open D, it would be like the D and the A note, or for the open G, it would be the G to the D. Um, so it's not exactly any tuning, but relative to each other, it's that same um, spacing. Uh, there is a fail here because um, the wood at the top here split. Okay, so I think you could see that. Well, let's see how this thing sounds. see if this thing does indeed fold. Uh, I will tell you that um, this nut comes loose. Uh, so I'm just going to take that off and then um, spread the strings apart, bend it. And so like this, um, if I fold it anymore, these strings will come loose. But um, let's say I just hooked them back on and then I'm going to fold it back and then you kind of have to re reset the string spacing here and um, put the nut back in and amazingly enough It stays in tune. So I had so much fun playing with this yesterday. I decided to keep it as is. Um, to keep the wood from splitting any further, I got some uh, twine and I tied a Canadian jam knot here. Basically, it acts like a zip tie. So I'm just binding it to keep the wood from splitting any further. I did another Canadian jam knot here. Um, to hold down, so all it does is hold down the nut so that when I take it apart, the nut doesn't fall away when the string tension is gone. And then here, I added another um, piece of wire to hold down the top of this uh, screw for the bridge just to uh, eliminate some of the vibrations. All right. Thanks. Bye.